springtime is back in DC and we're excited to see cherry blossoms and springtime blooms starting with a sunrise at the Tidal Basin. But we're also going to explore Dumbarton Oaks and the Congressional Cemetery and some other top sites here in DC. So follow me as we start our adventure. One of the best places to see cherry blossoms in DC is the Congressional Cemetery. Now, some of these cherry blossoms bloom slightly earlier, like mid-February, but it's just absolutely stunning to come here in spring. And just a travel tip, it's also very dog friendly. You can let your dog off the leash. And from what we've seen so far, it's a dog heaven. The cemetery is about 35 acres with 70,000 tombstones and mausoleums with notable figures. And there are guided tours which you have to take out. Take a look at the website to book in advance. Uh, but there's also self-guided tours which you can check out with your phone. But it's just absolutely stunning to just take a stroll in the cemetery on a spring day like this. In this part of the cemetery, it's dedicated to uh, government officials such as Henry Clay and John Calhoun, and of course our good friend John Snodgrass. So you can see famous politicians throughout American history here. Another great place to see springtime blooms is right outside the Smithsonian Castle in the gardens. Obviously they have great magnolia trees, but they have tulips as well and other spring blooms. So make sure you check it out. Now, cherry blossoms are in full swing, so let's go check those out. When you come to DC, cherry blossoms are great to see, but it would not be without the National Cherry Blossom Festival, which you can hear great music, have some great food, and some great drinks. So we're gonna enjoy a little bit of food and some drinks. So follow me this way. Now for lunch, we had the mac and cheese with pulled pork at Stack's House of Barbecue, and it was delicious. There's a variety of different options of food trucks, but I think barbecue was probably our hands down favorite. But let's, uh, oh, I almost forgot. We also had a delicious beer. They have a special cherry blossom pale ale, which I had last year. And if you saw that video, you can check that out, but that was also very good. So let's go see the other food trucks. 
Now we're here in March and it's a little bit colder than we expected. We were hoping for maybe a summer or early spring temperatures, but have no fear. We found some hot cocoa and guess what? It's cherry infused to embrace the cherry festival season. Just like having a cherry cordial. Delicious. Cheers. One of the best spots to see cherry blossoms at the Tidal Basin is the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. Obviously, huge iconic figure in American history and civil rights activist. So it's a great place to soak in some history, great quotes. Also, it's a great spot to see cherry blossoms since we're here. But we're going to go see what else we can see around the Tidal Basin. It's totally worth it as there's so many flowers to see. The stone lantern behind me was carved in 1651 in Japan, and then later on it was given as a gift by Japan to the United States in 1954 as a symbol of friendship and unity. The lantern is lit every year for the Cherry Blossom Festival and is definitely a sight to see for every Cherry Blossom fan. Located in the historic Georgetown area, Dumbarton Oaks is one of the best places to see spring flowers and blooms. They have a museum, but we're primarily going to focus on the garden, so follow me as we go explore. There are so many flowers in the gardens, such as magnolia trees, roses. Now during the spring and summer season, you have to book a ticket in advance. During the off season, you don't have to book a ticket, but there's just so much to explore here. Uh, it's just absolutely stunning. The trees, cherry trees, top notch. I mean, spring is definitely in full action here at Dumbarton. So we'll continue on exploring, see if there's any other flowers. But it's just absolutely stunning. This is my favorite part. And it's quite evident that Dumbarton is in full bloom here. We really enjoyed our time at Dumbarton Oaks. It's super kid and family friendly. However, it's not as accessible if you have a wheelchair or a handicap. There's a lot of steps, stairs, gravel paths. So if you're concerned, definitely check out the website. But this is a great place that we recommend for spring blooms.
ponds behind me are the main reason people come to Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens. Now in June, July, and August, these ponds would be filled with water lilies and lily pads bursting with different colors of uh, flowers. Now you may see some sprouting up right now, it's early growth, but we definitely have to come back here in the summer. That way we can see the full magnificent water lily in full bloom. But the park itself has great flowers and trees, so let's follow the path and see what we can find. As we walk along the boardwalk in the wetlands, I wanted to share some really interesting facts about Kenilworth. Uh, it was originally started by a Civil War veteran who used it as a business to, to sell aquatic plants. And it was eventually taken over by the National Park Service. And it is the only National Park Service site to propagate uh, aquatic plants. So that's what makes it so unique is the lily pads and the uh, uh, water lilies. Now, even though it's a little bit cold and we see a little bit of growth from the native uh, water lilies, they're also, they also have a greenhouse where they're growing tropical water lilies, which they'll bring out when it's warmer. So we definitely have to come back here when it's a little bit warmer to see all the water lilies. DC really comes alive during the springtime and the Tidal Basin is obviously the best place to see cherry blossoms and the festival is just hopping during this time. It runs for five weeks and it has a lot of different events, but you can't miss Dumbarton Oaks as they have a lot of different flowers and trees. I mean, it just looks phenomenal during the springtime and summer probably even looks even better. But that wraps up our video and like the button if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe as we have many more adventures to come. But until next time, keep on exploring.